Hey, this is Mike. I'm just checking out this 2015 uh, Dodge Charger SE. Now this one has the V6 with the 8-speed transmission. It's almost as basic as you can get it. The only thing, only add it has on the SE to the SE package is the uh, Sport Appearance Group. So it has the 18-inch wheels and the spoiler. Other than that, this is about as basic as you can get which uh, so gives you a, a reference point here and I mean it has a lot of features it's not a it's not a featureless car for sure but um, it is a, a, the pretty much at the starting point of the 2015 chargers so you have the halogen projector headlights no fog lights it does have LED daytime running lamps they go around the headlights. Let's see if I can push the push the unlock button to see if I can get those to turn on. It's kind of hard to tell during the day. But the color on this one is billet, billet silver. And it looks like the tires, I mean the wheels here are uh, kind of matching with the, the rest of the car now it does have the proximity key so there's the key right there and so basically I can lock the car and I can unlock the car just by putting my hand under the handle it unlocks the car and this is only for the driver and passenger and the, the, the front passenger and driver doors the back doors are not like that here's the inside of the door got a pocket there at the bottom bottle holder uh, this is kind of like a soft touch rubber feel here and um, pretty much everything soft to the touch except for that that's the hard plastic there manual adjustments on the cloth seats here in the front comes with the floor mats that hook in so they don't slide around looking here in the back now that front seat the driver's seat I put all the way back so you can see uh, it's still a little bit of leg room there even with the front seat all the way back and then here's a, a normal distance here so it's pretty good amount of leg room here in the back seats it does have the latch system for the child safety seats this folds down and you've got some cup holders as well as an armrest USB chargers back here for the back seat drivers all right so I'm gonna go ahead and push the unlock of the button again so hopefully you can see the the glow of the tail light here um, check out my video uh, 2015 it's called 2015 Dodge Charger at night so you can get an idea of what the all the lights and stuff looks like at nighttime so let me go ahead and open the trunk. You can see it has a V6, but you can see it does have the dual exhaust with the bright uh, tips there for the exhaust. Now there's two ways I can open up the trunk right now. I can use the key, double tap that and it opens up. Or if the key is in my pocket, which is pretty much designed to be with the proximity key, I'm going to go ahead and take the key, put it in my pocket, and I could just walk up and push this little button here it's kind of hidden and it opens up the the trunk has plenty of room back here you got a light there get a light there has a net has this little net that comes with the car and that way it's like a cargo net you got anchors here and there it's where you can hook it up string it across and put stuff in there for easy access now lifting this up under here is your spare tire you also have your battery and a fuse box I think that's a fuse box it looks like one and also you notice this little funnel right here that's for your capless uh, fuel inlet or whatever you want to call it it's not a fuel cap but it's a capless design uh, which I'll show you in a second you do have a little glow-in-the-dark pull handle in case a child were to accidentally 
uh, you know, lock themselves in the trunk, they can pull that and it releases the trunk and they can escape. The aluminum wheels are pretty, pretty neat looking. I like the styling. It has the Michelin tires on this one. So let me go ahead and show you where the fuel cap is, the fuel door. Right here, you see the door, it's right there. Usually you would look for it over here, but it's not there. So push that, and it pops open. It is on the driver's side, which is a very convenient. And there's your capless design. You can see you just can't take your finger and push in there. You have to use either the nozzle for a fuel, uh, you know, the regular, you know, fuel station or whatever. But also, if you need to use a gas can, you can see you use a little funnel and put it there. And it'll allow it to go in there and that way you can put gas in your vehicle. There's this little rubber hood there that goes over that to kind of keep trash and stuff out. So back to the front door, um, this is the driver's door, it's got a very soft padding, uh, this is cloth, this is like, it feels like a rubber material, same, is the same material that's on the, on the dashboard there right here, and you got your door handle, uh, power door locks, power windows, the front windows will uh, automatically go down, rear windows you gotta hold it to go up or down. Got a, Pretty good size pocket down here, bottle holder there, speaker. Now the seat is powered, goes forward and back powered, but then the, to uh, adjust the back of the seat, you have to, it's a manual adjustment there. <clears throat> All right, so hopping in, has the automatic headlights here. You have your dimmer switches for your gauges and your interior lights. You also have another dimmer switch for your ambient light. So this vehicle, if you check out my night video, you can you can see what I'm talking about regarding the ambient light. And there's your trunk button there. That's another way of releasing the trunk. All right, so now that we're in, it's a lot quieter in here. Everything's turned off. So, in order to start the vehicle, I do have the key still in my pocket. I just put my foot on the brake, and it'll tell you, it'll tell you up here, press, press brake and push button to start. So it gives you some clues there. So I put my foot on the brake, and I push this button. And since it's an automatic transmission, you can just push the button, and you don't have to sit there and hold it. Uh, I had an experience with a manual transmission, um, Hellcat where I pushed the button then it just stopped it didn't start and I'm like that's weird So I pushed it again and I had to hold it because it's, uh, apparently the manual transmission is, is different on that on that respect So here's the steering wheel It's leather wrapped with some stitching around the inside and uh, It does have the the grips here and there has the Dodge badge there with some chrome around the outside which is pretty neat <coughs> excuse me on the right side is your cruise control now as long as you push this button and where it makes sure that it's on see how this good toggles on and off it has to be on and then that way you can set it on the back of the steering wheel on this side is a volume button I can adjust the volume up and down with this button on the back of the steering wheel that way you can keep your hands on the wheel on the back of the steering wheel on this side you can change to the stations so that's pretty convenient it's a good safety feature on the left side of the steering wheel on the bottom we have your voice recognition button which has lots of different commands um, changing stations calling people stuff like that and once you pair your Bluetooth phone, you can make and receive calls here. You can hang up there. Now this is your gauges. And 
you notice it has like a red and sporty looking design um, there's your miles per hour on that side and then your your rpms on that side now in the middle you've got a digital readout gauge here and this is uh, how you control that gauge to see different things <clears throat> this is the you know like okay and then you got arrows right here we're in the speedometer mode speedometer says speedometer there there's your uh, racetrack looking zero we're going zero miles per hour right now you got your range these are things in the corner you can change but range is there temperature is there on the outside of the vehicle temperature of your engines here and then your fuel is there and this is where you change your gears on that side there so right now I'm just gonna push the down arrow button and it's take me to the vehicle info you notice it now a number appears is showing you that there's uh, different menus here so in the vehicle info screen uh, I can scroll to the right and left uh, right now it's showing the tire pressure but you can scroll to the right and you can get all kinds of different temperatures and pressures of the vehicle in real time and it scrolls back to your tire pressure scrolling down goes into my fuel economy it gives me a real-time gauge it gives me a range and it gives me an average scrolling down again it gives me a trip now this is two trips trip a trip b and it's not just a mileage trip you also have a average miles per gallon but also a timer as well scrolling down this is your audio what your radio is doing basically messages will be here um, anything the car wants to tell you screen setup that's what I was talking about you can change the the corners here and then goes back to speedometer <coughs> excuse me so that's kind of a brief overview of that center screen there now there's another screen on this side this is more for your uh, some other stuff this is where you find your radio and uh, different things before I go too far it's kind of getting hot in this here I'm gonna hit climate temperature and I'm gonna scroll that down done all right so go back to radio okay so now we're in the radio screen and you can it kind of gives you an idea of your temperature there is your fan speed there and uh, has your presets for your radio at the top AM FM and all that good stuff media now the media um, this is where you can connect different devices this vehicle has a USB port uh, right here let me get to it inside the center console is a USB an SD and, a, and an auxiliary input so you can plug in different devices uh, into the system it does not have a CD player <clears throat> CD players <laughs> uh, I hate to keep hearing a lot of people say man it doesn't even have a CD player um, CDs have been obsolete for at least 10 years but they're kind of lingering around just because people have so many of them um, but really it's not that big of a deal it's so much easier to have a USB drive with a bunch of songs on it and playing than you know pop it in and out CDs but hey people held on to cassette tapes and all that stuff too for years so you might have still still have some now uh, phone this is where you can pair your phone but also once you pair your phone you will have recent calls your phone book and uh, and also all this stuff will light up when you're, you pair your phone you have a keypad right here won't let me go into it now um, but you can also tr hit this transfer button and transfer the call back to your uh, cell phone if you want to have a private conversation compass see what the compass looks like pretty cool climate that's what I showed you before and it has a uh, like a dual zone well, let me turn this off it has a dual zone um, let's see here now it doesn't let me see here yeah it does when you unsync it um, you can see where basically you can adjust the right and left um, separately so you notice I mean this is a base model pretty much a base model charger but you notice it has dual zone it has a all kinds of cool features so far just kind of checking out push button start proximity key 
Um, very feature rich vehicle for being a base model. <coughs> so there's, you know, basic your climate control. You get your fan, you can adjust it. You can blast out like a hurricane. That stuff, um, you know, where you want the air to blow and all that. And let's hit more. Now, this is, you know, kind of gives you some more information. You can adjust your clock. Actually, let's hit the clock and you can actually see a big clock there. Settings, that's where you adjust your clock. And then you can turn the screen off if you want to just by pushing that. And it goes away just in case it's distracting you or something like that. But you can always push it to turn it back on. So down here, you have a volume button. You have a, a way of tuning through the stations here just like on your steering wheel and uh, so these are kind of redundant buttons and the back button is to go back in the screen here's your traction control button here you can turn that off default is on while the vehicle is running but you can turn it off if you want and when you push it off uh, it'll let you know up here Okay, so also more redundant buttons uh, for your climate control. They're handy. Um, they're not. They're not unnecessary. They do come in handy. Um, you know, so you can adjust your 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 temperatures on the fly. Real easy. You have a power supply down there, a pocket down there. You got your Dodge Brothers thing going on there with this little shallow pocket. I guess to put your cell phone, change anything you want in this little section. Now here's your shifter. This is a pretty awesome shifter. I love it. <coughs> right now it's in park. Put it in reverse. This is an improvement over the previous models. Before you just kind of bumped it forward and back. This one you actually move. Neutral. Drive. Now you're in drive. You're cruising along. And you want to change to the gears yourself like manually. You just go like that. Now it turns into a ratchet shifter. You can, now you can bump through the gears. And you can see what gear you're in here. Now it's not going to let you like go through all cycle all through eight gears while you're sitting still, but it gives you the ability to have a little bit more control over the gears while you're driving. So um, it's a pretty neat feature. I like the way it ratchets. You know, like an old muscle car. You can always go like that. And go back to drive. There's your cup holders. It's got this little door. And check out this at night. These are these are the some ambient light in here, and it's pretty neat. Center console armrest. Uh, this lifts up, and as I showed you, it has your inputs here. It also has this little tray, which is handy for change. You have a power supply down there, and just a place to put some junk. You have a lockable, huge lockable glove compartment is felt line on the bottom and then you've got those little shelves there in the, on the top there's a rearview mirror it it is a manual uh, night mode there these little bumps on the top of the rearview mirror are your microphones for your Bluetooth system place to put your sunglasses in here tap lights on both sides visor has mirrors and lights Yes, this is kind of a, this is the SE model. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the window sticker. I'm going to, I copy all this stuff in the description, but just to give you an idea real quick here. And you can see optional equipment. It just has the customer preferred package sport appearance group. Everything else is standard. All right, let's take a look under the hood. Six liter Pentastar V6 it does have VVT as indicated here on the plastic cover that's covering up the engine. But um, very 
very uh, responsive engine. I mean, you kind of have to take it for a test drive. It's not some wimpy, you know, some of the older <coughs> six cylinders, kind of wimpy feeling. And I mean, this is a very, this is a totally different type of V6 uh, from the, you know, like the old, uh, especially like old 90s cars and stuff like that. The V6s and four cylinders nowadays are not the uh, the same as they used to be. Um, so it's a very good choice. It's not a uh, it's not a wimpy engine at all. It get really good gas mileage, and uh, it's like 31 on the highway. I mean, seriously, that's awesome. So anyway, if uh, if you purchase one of these, let me know. If uh, if you have any you know real world experience with a 15. Dodge Charger, let us know in the comments so you can share your experience with everybody else. And if you have any clarifications, corrections, anything to add, let me know as well. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.